Buzz and Brady. And this one looks real pretty. Matt Blair and Eva. What's wrong with my name? 2019. Eva! This is a big moment. Big moment. You will remember this forever. Uh -huh. like, well, she will now. I already forget. <laughs> yeah, we'll remind you, don't worry. All right. You wanna go in and talk? Sure, well, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up, and then we can talk. Go step in the cement. Okay. Oh my goodness, you're a little, yeah, you're, we're, we're a mess. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah? Yay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's been so long since I've filmed, but it feels weird. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> What's up, guys? Hey, Welcome guys. to two days video. Today's? Today's. Two days. We, so I just thought we could give you guys a little life update, because it's been a while since we just sat and talked to the camera. Anybody. AKA you. <laughs> um, anybody. <laughs> besides these two really for me and just kind of let y'all know how parenthood is going life um there's been a few changes with a lot of things things house aside we'll go in more detail with that in the next house update we could just update y'all on life and how things are going this little one is growing obviously uh matt do you want to do you want to start off the uh sure i'll start with a fun one so uh, the band's actually going really well, you know, the Casey Thornton band, which it's like Thorn and Ton, which we can like add stuff in, like magically pops in Thorn right here, and it's then too much work. Ton. I know, it's a, just imagine that, <laughs> yeah, imagine the magic of editing Thornton, Casey Thornton band up, up here, up top, and then with a link noise. and a button, yeah, it takes you to the website, because there is a website. Yeah. Oh yeah, you want to hold it? Yeah. So the band's going really well. Uh, we keep playing more and more shows. We played the Lobster Fest. We might play the Crab Fest. All right, so we got everything loaded up for the uh, Fredericksburg trip. I don't know. We probably haven't even talked about that much on here. Uh, but I've been playing a, quite a few shows uh, lately. And, uh, of course, you know, having to orchestrate where Blair and the baby go uh, so that, you know, they, she can have some backup. She needs a little bit of her time during the day, right, in like five, ten minutes to have to take a shower. That's about it. But uh, right now, uh, load up all the drums, all uh, mics. I mean, pretty much all, all the stuff between myself and uh, the uh, lead guitarist. Um, we're about to take off to Fredericksburg. It's about an hour and a half away from San Marcos, but it's a great little town, and we're doing a lobster festival. So I'll try to get some shots along the way, but try not to do too much while driving. Just saying. We played uh, Cheatham Street, which is a historical country venue, actually here in San Marcos. We played next to Green Hall. We might play Green Hall, which uh, that's pretty big. Uh, names like George Strait have passed through both of those areas. Um, and so it's just kind of neat to actually start checking these off of our 
a kind of to-do list or a dream list, I guess. Um, the main uh, guitarist, which has been around in my life for a while, uh, Casey, uh, we're, we're both kind of like, I don't know, we, we came a long way. <laughs> we used to play a lot of rock, like punk-ish rock, and that doesn't really sell as well as uh, country. And I never really wanted to push country, but I'm actually having fun. I'm enjoying the music, uh, writing for it and stuff. I'm not doing a ton of writing. It's mostly Casey, but uh, I want to try to, you know, attribute some of my talents to that. And I might start playing piano. I might do some backup vocals. All kinds of new stuff, so. We haven't been able to go to a single one of their shows. Since a, a certain <laughs> time. She did go to some of the early shows, but <laughs> we've added a whole but it, lot of new songs. It has kind of bummed me out that I haven't been able to go to, like, their show at Cheatham Street yeah. or, you know. Green Grove, which we actually yeah. have two more Green Grove shows uh, coming up in September and October. Uh, so if any of y'all are passing through the area, definitely check out the Casey Thornton Band, because then you can come and see, you know, well, you know, me. Eventually if you, we'll if you want to, eventually uh, they'll be there. I don't. They may be there by the October show. Um, I'm thinking she'll be old enough, and then it's um, just all y'all shows are late. Uh, but that's just band. Uh, we're buying new equipment, all kinds of stuff. So there's a lot of big changes there to where we can play bigger venues, um, and then also it's just fun to see people actually responding to our songs. It's the first time we actually saw a crowd respond to the songs. Uh, the last couple shows, uh, it seems like a lot of people are having fun, and we're seeing. A lot of people on Facebook actually say they like our music. I haven't seen anything negative, but I usually leave the negative comments to other people and they just tell me the good ones. Uh, I kind of like it that way. That's kind of how we filter it with the Wondering Wyatt. So <laughs> um, it's funny how that works. There's a lot of time for me goes to other things like Eva and uh, a job. So I also have changed jobs. Uh, we do payment processing. So it's very similar to what I was doing before as far as like the style. Uh, I'm still doing sales, but I'm also doing a lot more admin, which uh, that's what I like to do. I like to sit in the office, talk to guys, uh, conceive new plans of how to, you know, take over the world and such. But try to bring out a new product. More to come on that for sure. Um, but yeah, a lot of it's geared towards, uh, some of y'all may know this type of world, high risk. So that's kind of what I do now. So uh, yeah, let me know if y'all want to know more about that. Uh, but that's it on me. It's just band work, baby. Not in that order. Usually it's <laughs> baby and then trying to juggle the other two. <laughs> and so, yeah. What about your life? <laughs> yeah. Literally. Yeah, um, literally it's, it's yeah. well, that and workouts. Workouts are yeah. going better. Like, well, one of the different things with his job now is that he's in office Monday through Friday. Eight to five, so um, there's no working from home at all. Yeah, no working from home like before for a while. For at least Hopefully six in the future. Yeah. You can do... Or maybe we'll have a bigger office mobile. by then. We, we plan on that. And then, hey, you can just office out of our office. I've been home with her all day, every day. I mean, it's, I wouldn't change it for anything. Yeah. And I literally, could, I, I couldn't I imagine up. taking her to a daycare. Oh, for sure. And I sit there and I just think about her all day. Yeah, so we at least have that luxury. But uh, And I know it kind of gets a little crazy here just being with her all day. Like, all day, which is great. I mean, but if you have no one to even help her or, you know, like show her to even, you know, some, something to kind of just change your, your, I guess, thought processes. By the time he gets home, I'm like... It's exhausting. Yeah. And so, <laughs> here you go. Play with your baby. But uh, I actually come home on lunch every day. So I try to like, it's like 15 minutes here, 15 minutes back. So I roughly have 30 minutes to uh, clean and cook for, uh, which sometimes you, you cook, uh, but, uh, and then I have to scarf food down and then take off again. So. Uh, but it's been working just it's that a little bit of alleviation i think that might help at least i can provide that and so mm -hmm. but that's pretty much our day <laughs> every single day monday through friday now um yes, i have been going to the gym yeah um i'm trying to go to the gym three times a week so whenever he gets home on monday wednesday friday afternoon evenings i'll take the truck and go um it, it doesn't always work out that way because she's been hitting a little bit of a rough patch she's had some some meltdowns here and there um, and sometimes I'll, I'll go with them and just I'll sit in the truck while it's on because again it's Texas it's 102 out and so of course we have to leave the truck running the entire time but yeah we uh, we've been making this thing work and uh, surviving mentally I'm even, I'm even Eva has been surviving mentally with us I don't know uh, no. well guys that's our cue <laughs> oh. so that's kind of like how things go we just I'm just going to bounce the rest of this video, so don't mind me. <laughs> we just, uh, <laughs> don't adjust your screen. You know, we try to keep her happy as long as possible, and then whenever something doesn't work, we change it. You know, he leaves around 7, 7.30, and then I try to get a little bit of sleep in the morning. 
she tends to sleep a little bit better after about 6 a.m. between 6 and 9. But she's up on and off throughout the night now. I think there's apparently a sleep regression that happens at three months. Four, I thought it was four months. Three, three to four. Sure. Three and four months. Okay. Um, it's, you know, nature. Um, it can happen anytime. So, you know, I'm, I'm up a good amount of the night. And I also pump during the night. So uh, I haven't been getting a whole lot of sleep. But it's better than it was in the beginning. Oh my so gosh. I'm, I'm really happy about that. And then we also have some friends that uh, have had their babies at the same time. Uh, one that's actually a friend of the band, and sh they're not getting any sleep. It doesn't sound mm -hmm. like they don't. They have to work all day, and they don't sleep at night at all. So they're just. I don't know. So you don't have any other choice. So we're we're very lucky. Yeah. Oh very yeah. Very lucky. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Thank so you, people. We sleep. Yeah, so cute. You know, anywhere until <laughs> seven to nine. Um, on and off throughout the night and then get up of course feed her bottle feed pump change her usually there's some spit up poop diapers to clean and then i just rinse and repeat like we have playtime here and there she's a really really happy baby um but like i said the last couple weeks she has been going through um what the pediatrician called colic which is just kind of general fussiness so we got her some of that gripe water that a lot of people recommended yeah. that seems to be helping I it might just be just... something that that bides the time for yeah. her to digest and so it's like really colic for babies is not true colic uh really all this is like and they're not even sure exactly why babies get this fussy fit i guess mm -hmm. but it's uh, bad they're assuming that it's gas related uh but the thing is they're also assuming that it shouldn't be gas because they're a little like inner body parts are not developed to to hold gas in mm -hmm. so it really should just pass through but i'm pretty sure it's gas yeah it's gotta be um it's burp and she's fine her yeah so she was tubes. she was going through times where it's just fits of unconsolable crying like not Ooh. she just closes Ooh. her eyes and just screams and you can't you just snap her out of yeah. it yeah so the hair dryer worked um she has a little crunchy book that would sometimes work if we were to make Kind of silly noises that would sometimes uh, work but then you have to once you snap her out of it then you have to calm her down enough to where she'll eat or do something else um but she hasn't gone that far in like half a month right for for moms especially it's really really tough so it was really tough on me because you see them just losing so it and you can't so help cute. um so hopefully that's kind of over but yeah so been taking care of this little one and working out again which is really really good um that's like my little escape for the day because i just go to the gym and uh get my workout in come back and i'm refreshed and then usually by then it's time for kind of bed what? still coaching i still uh still, so i still am working a bit i don't have a whole lot of clients just because it's been so unpredictable, I don't know what the day is going to look like. Sometimes I don't even have a chance to get on my computer to check emails. Um, but I do have a handful of clients. And as she gets a little bigger, things are starting to get a little bit easier. Like I can actually set her down and go to the bathroom now. <laughs> when before it was like any time I would put her down, she would just scream. Apparently that's just with me. She didn't do it with him. But yeah, so uh, in the, the coming weeks and months I'll be picking back up with online training again so I'm still doing that here and there um that's, that's pretty much life you know hopefully I keep saying this hopefully we'll have you know more chances to film um but really it's just all day is just me in here and then him pretty much at the office now house is moving along and then as she gets bigger we can start going more places again right now our our, our outings are Target and HEB so those of okay. you that don't know, HB is a grocery store. Oh, yeah. <laughs> grocery store. <laughs> yeah. The best grocery store ever. I want to take her swimming somehow, like to the river or like By the time she gets old enough to do that, uh, it'll be cold. Uh, it'll be Texas cold. I would love to take her like to a little baby pool or get like a kiddie pool and put her in it. I don't know. Okay. I just want to see how she likes water. And uh, yeah, so if there's any videos that you guys want to see in the meantime, let us know in the comments. If y'all have any questions, let us know in the comments. Yeah, suggest things that you want us to do or try with a baby. <laughs> we'll make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. Put her in a yeah, very kitty pool. Time. Yeah. So we'll, we'll say if we can or can't do that. <laughs> or we'll the video us trying. There'll be a lot of meltdown videos. Yeah. I think, I think that's it. Do you have anything you want to add, Eva? Yeah. Tell them.
I think she added everything she wants to. <laughs> yeah, I think so. All right, well, thanks guys for, for sticking in there. Um, I We haven't even gotten a chance to say thank y'all for 20,000 subscribers. I know it's been, we've kind of been teetering on and off the border of it for a while, uh, but we finally hit that and it's like, I didn't even get a chance to like, yay, we wanted to do a giveaway. We have some we stuff We still have that stuff for giveaway. We do. A year ago, right? From year Colorado. Plus. We picked up a bunch of like little knickknacks and things. Um, that we're gonna put in this giveaway. So y'all stay tuned for that. I don't know when um, or how we're gonna do the giveaway, but y'all just stay tuned. And uh, that's, that's about it, you know. That's about it. That's the update from the Not So Wondering Ones. We're wandering through this whole thing called parenthood now. All right, well, guys, have fun out there. Goodness, that's so funny. That's so funny. Mm. Mm. <laughs> You're so silly. You're so silly tonight. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What are these noises? Mm. Oh my goodness. <laughs>